Yes. Yes. This is a fertile land and we will thrive. We will rule over all this land. We will call it... This land. Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Rome Total Realism with me, Grey Hunter, where I'm having a hell, of, a hell of a lot of fun. I am, I am, I'm having a hell of a lot of fun. This is a good campaign so far. That is Greek Army, and it's a little bit worrying. Hello, Greek Army. Please, please go away. I don't like you. You have no friends. You are not welcome here. Fuck off. Alrighty, so what had we done? I remember that we saved at the beginning of a turn, which means I should press space bar. Speedy movement. And what were we doing? All oh, right, we were getting some Italian cavalry because we've got some money. Always a useful thing. And I believe we were sending some people back for retraining. Were we not? I think I was planning on doing it. I just hadn't done it yet. So, back to Capua. You are already recruiting. You know what? Let us form a new army for now to take out Pastum, and then after we've taken out Pastum, we'll use them to reinforce these settlements and then we'll send our veteran troops on to take Syracuse because I really want Syracuse. They can end the war if they want but only after we get Syracuse damn it. So if I recall correctly this place has a blacksmith already. Yes. Upgrades heavy weapons. Okay good. Well in that case we'll get some um, Two units of Prinkapes from here, and do you have a blacksmith? I don't think so. No, you're building roads at the moment, you have no blacksmith. You can get us some Hastati. Sounds like a plan to me, and you have already got some troops, you have got some troops, you need to send these back for reinforcement. Uh, that's a big enough army to hold that, I think. Can we send both of these back at the same time? I hope so. What's public order look like? Mm. Yeah, it looks okay. What if we give you these gentlemen? There we go. I know it doesn't really have to be a green face, but I like green faces. They make me happy, and it makes the people happy that they have people. This pleases me greatly. Now, Aretium, you were our new conquest, weren't you? Yes, you were, and we were building a wooden wall. Okay, that's all good planned out then. You are not building anything, Rome. Why are you not building anything? Because I didn't tell you to yet, of course. 2,000 bucks. 3,000. Mm. Has more uses. Mm -hmm. Education versus better weaponry. Better weapons. <laughs> Honestly, it's not that hard of a choice, I suppose. Better weapons all the way. You're already building. You're building a port. You have nothing. Can you get a blacksmith? You can get a blacksmith. Hooray, I like blacksmiths. And how much money are we standing to make? 7,000 in the treasury. Hmm... You making anything? You are not. In that case, build me these minor shrines. You can't actually recruit anything at the moment, can you? No, just boats. Um, hmm. Well, we need a stables to get to auxilia level two, so we'll do that. And paste them. Will be taken soonish. I'll probably send a Cassius Cornelius Lentius Lentulus. Down here. He sounds like a vegetable. <laughs> uh, let's see how we go. So, Greece, what say you? What are you doing? What are you up to? What shenanigans? Apparently, nothing. An agent was found in Croton. Those bastards. Okay, so we've got about 6,000 bucks to spend, which is a plus. Uh, we can send all these guys back for retraining. That looks like solid core of an army to me. Uh, they'll have to wait until next turn. Because the cavalry is half done. But... That's not the worst thing in the world. I mean, it's still three turns until this place surrenders. Hmm. 
Retium's finished its walls. We need some roads in that case. Anything else finished building? Ah, yes, our port. Our port, our port, our port. Um, in that case, I would like a market to gain us more money. And then I think we'll focus on uh, getting walls in all our settlements. I don't really think we'll need them all that much, but um, it never hurts to have something a little bit more substantial than a palisade standing between you and the enemy. Funny that, but you know, that's how it works. So we've got some Prinkapes and some uh, Hastati constructed. Well, not really constructed, recruited. And uh, they'll head down here. I suppose we could use those troops in there as the core of a... Well, no, that would sort of take away the point of hiring up these fellas. Hmm. Ideally... Ideally, we wouldn't have to worry about our frontiers, but I'm a little bit concerned about what uh, Carthage might be planning, because Carthage, You're if they take Syracuse, which they may, would be the ones we have to worry about. Bolon. Hmm. Well, he's not doing anything particularly worrying at the moment, he's just wandering back and forth, so we won't worry too much about him. Admiral Julianus, get into port. Okay. Alright, we're doing okay for now. Those troops will march on the turn end. You guys won't surrender for another three turns. There's not really much to do, so continue. What is that? I guess I really should move him a bit further. Can I be of service? It appears he got stuck. Go that way. Without so go that way. Okay. Out of so presumably we can get him back over this way. Out of yeah, only a few turns. Moves and he can sort of just hang around out, out here, moves. so his path is blocked. And we've recruited our soldiers, and we've got our Hastadi retrained. Excellent. So, what have we got here? We've got Captain Marcellus to join Valerius, and finally we've got some actual cavalry. This is amazing. Amazing. Okay. So what has he got in his army? He's got some regular infantry, some velites, and some skirmishers. Hmm. I'm tempted to divert some of these men back up to him. Hmm. Well, if we recruit one more unit of Prinkapes here, and we recruit, actually, no, one unit of Prinkapes here, two units, nope, stop it, two units of Velites here, because I want Velites to be our skirmishers. Uh, let's see. You guys got some extra stuff. You're better at defending walls. Were you the one who had a uh, good defender? You were. Excellent. You will be a fantastic frontier governor, I think. And you, you are still studying. You have just finished your second year. What about you? Wait, you weren't going anywhere. You were staying here, weren't you? You finished the third year of your formal education. So one more year as a student, you'll be eligible to enter service as a tribune. So that's okay. You won't really be going anywhere. Construction of stables completed. Excellent. Now, how much money are we making? Eh, a little bit. A little bit. Okay, uh, build that. We kind of need to make sure that we're, uh, we're spending money wisely. I am sort of spending it a little bit hand over fist. But that's because I know that once we get a solid, strong economy going, we'll be able to pay for everything. So, you veterans, you need to go hang out here at Regium again in preparation for the actual march. And I think I'll probably get this guy to lead it, because he's 
He's a good soldier, really. He's only got, like, two command stars at the moment. But the more he serves, so the longer he serves in the military, the better his command gets. And the more he fights these rebels, the better his command gets. So he's going to take out this settlement, and then this settlement. So he's got a fair chance of becoming good. Hmm. Do I want to divert some troops there now? Oh no, they should be able to make it from Ancona to Arunum. I hope so. <laughs> Otherwise, he's a little bit out on a limb, and that would not be good. Okay. I mainly think about it in terms of the fact that we have to leave some troops here in the end anyway, because we need a garrison force. So he's got four units of regular infantry now, two units of lights, and a single unit of skirmishers, plus himself as cavalry. So that's, that's all right. Of course, our economy is taking a bit of a hit now, because obviously we have, um, well, the same income, but less, uh, less surplus because we've got no more territory. We're still stuck on what we already had, but that's okay, because we'll be picking up two cities soon enough. So this force is, this is strong, I like this. So I'm going to send you back to retrain. I guess I really should send some of these guys back to uh, Croton, but I sort of want them all. At least these guys, because they're strong. They're strong units. They'd make a good solid core of um, troops, and I really should have sent them back to Rome in hindsight for retraining so that they could all get uh, improved weapons, but I didn't. Next time. <laughs> Next time they do that. Next time they need retraining. So you've got one turn until they surrender. I guess I could send you some of these troops, but you don't really need them, I don't think. Yeah, it should be fine. I suppose I could send one of the other generals to back him up, but... He should be fine, aren't we facing, like, spearmen? Yeah, they have no cavalry whatsoever, so... It's mainly going to be a stand-and-fight thing. Yeah, we can do that. This will be a good spot to get uh, extra income from as well, because they've got a town... Uh, not, not that... They've got a market, they've already got a port, they've got good walls, so Aretium and Ariminum are good strongholds good strongholds against Gaul if Gaul decides to try and push at us. So let's end turn. We're gonna get into another fight. Oh yeah, our guy made it back. A ceasefire, you say. I'd consider it if you gave me trade rights. And if you gave me Syracuse. How about that? You started this shit. Okay, historically they didn't. Well, they did. Sort of. <laughs> A little bit. Uh, it makes more sense if you um, if you read some historical texts about uh, the whole uh, thing between Tarentum and the Roman Republic. So, we've got some Umbrians coming to attack us. Uh -huh. So, he's Spearman, I think. Yeah, he's Italian Spearman. And he's got some Italian Light Swordsmen. Some Skirmishers. Okay, so they outnumber us in Skirmishers, but all of our troops have Javelins, which is nice. So, let's see how we do. We're finally getting enough strength, I feel, to go on the offensive, which will be good, because I'd love to grab Syracuse, because Syracuse actually has really, really good walls. Of course, I won't be trying to assault them, because that would just be suicidal, but if I can take them and not have Carthage, you know, try to attack me, all the better. So, let's see, we need you guys all lined up. Mm, they're doing okay for somewhat battered units. They're pretty good. Need you guys. I'm going to put you on the left, I think. Yeah, you can hang out on the left and sort of act as um, makeshift skirmishes. So we'll put folks on defensive mode and fire at will. You can just spread out. And you can just sort of sit over here. We don't really need you at the moment. So everybody run. 
you can advance. Go. Okay. So this is a good start. It's pretty much going to come down to a shoving match, I should think, between their semi-phalanx and our, well, our troops, our maniples. Alrighty. Alright, Italian spearmen have turned around. Hit him in the back. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You know you want to. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, damn. You just got wrecked. I'm sure that was wonderful to watch. <laughs> Hello. I do like Rome. I mean, it's aged fairly well, all things considered. I mean, just think about it. It's 2013. The game was released in 2004, and I'm still playing it because it's just that much fun. I, I'll grant that um, some of the visuals improvement comes from the mod, but a lot of it is just Rome. I really like it. It's really cool. I mean, there's very few games that can keep me interested almost 10 years after they've been released. Silent Storm is another one, and I can't really think of another one offhand. Well, Stronghold, I guess. Yeah, yeah, Stronghold 2. Not Stronghold 2, Stronghold 1, but, you know, in the sense of that as well. Oh, hello. What are you guys up to? Are you just forming line, or are you going round? Because if you're going round then we have a problem, because I don't want you to do that. Somehow I don't think they're going to agree with my plans for them. Well, that is just stiff shit, because you're going to have to. Sorry. The Republic is here to stay. Also, that music is awesome. I don't think anything quite compares. Just stop. Come on, throw. Chuck. 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 Don't fire at will, goddammit. Come on. Oh, yes. Oh, and in the shieldless flank as well. I'm not sure how much this game actually takes that into account. Whether or not you hit them on their shielded or unshielded side. I do not know, but I do know. It's time to run like hell. So, get back through the line. Actually, tighten up formation first. Get back through the line. And just hold on there. You're pretty much going to be the reserve force, I think. So, we've battered a few of their units. We've hit these guys really hard. These fellas, yeah, they're effectively nullified as a threat. You are running awfully quickly. You're a slight problem, but you don't have javelins. You're staying back a bit. You're an issue, because you can do what I just did to them. Okay, let's start here. You need to turn your line and face off against these guys, because I do not want them attacking my cavalry head-on. Speaking of cavalry, you need to go that way. So we're going to be leaving a little bit of a gap in our line. A little bit. Chuck. Chucking would be good. Oh, come on. They just ran right past you. Chuck. Yeah, that went well. What the hell? I have no idea. Uh, well, you guys are doing that. What are you doing? You know, I have no idea, but I don't like it. And, uh... Oh, now I know what they're doing. They're sandwiching me. Okie dokie. Well, let's see how you like it when these guys run over and attack you. This is why we kept them here, and although they're doing something funky with their formation, they're going in generally the right direction. So, charge! Yeah, yeah we were always going to take some casualties, but that's okay. The Prinkapes are fighting strong. You guys are running. You guys should be a little bit worried about the whole friend running thing. Let's turn off. Right. Charge! Hit the bastards. Alright, defeat is a distinct possibility. You guys have done your chucking attack. You guys 
Need to attack there. Charge! Alright, there we go. We've got a break. We've got a, we've got a route. Attack! Follow! Attack. Yeah, you guys just stand there doing your thing. Attack! Okay. This unit is pretty much the only one we have to worry about for now. These guys, they're gonna go. They're gonna break any second now. You know what? Forget defensive. Charge! You guys need to go help those other fellas. You're doing some good work. You need to not run into that. Alright. So they're gonna break. Enemy general is routing. That's you. Yeah. You guys attack. There, you guys attack their cavalry. You guys need to get in this bit. Get in the marsh pit. That's it. You know what? I've changed my mind. Attack. 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 Hit them with everything you've got. If you can break the rebels, they will just bolt. You guys are doing fine. Okay, so this was a relatively bloodless victory. All things considered. Yeah, I know. I'm calling it a victory before we've actually won. You guys should be broken in a minute. Yeah, they're wavering. Alright, Cavalry General, get out of there. Attack them instead. They should break, if we're lucky. You know what? Get in there. Just, just look like you're going in there. Okay, so some of their skirmishers decided that it might be a better idea to come back. We are going to have to teach them the folly of their way. Oh, cavalry. Yeah. yeah, I guess. Attack. If you can get through there and hurt them, that would be swell. Is that their general? That is their general. He's, a, he's about to die, isn't he? Oh, come on, stab him. There you go. Fine. End battle. Okay, so we lost... 62 men, I believe. Didn't do too bad, though. Presumably our general will get something of a trait from that. I hope so. Hmm. So is there really a reason to kill them all? Hmm. Sort of. I mean, they're happy with us, but... Money. Yeah, kill them. We need a Riminum to be loyal to us. God, I thought the game was about to crash there. So, in light of that, quick save. Alrighty. Uh, unit recruitment of Velites, sweetness. Assassin. Yeah, thanks, Assassin. Alrighty, did you get anything good? You did. You are now a pillager. Plus 10% bonus to cash gain from looting. He finds it strangely amusing. Oh, Cassius. You so crazy. But, good commander. Good attacker and proud veteran. All pluses. And he got a turncoat slave. That's actually really good. Because he is sort of doing our whole uh, rebel suppression thing. So if we get him some roads. Roads. Uh, not that he'll be staying there, of course. But he will be coming back to command this army. So what have we got in here? Do we know? Not really. Well, good thing that we've got a spy who we can send. So... You, Galerius, go find out what the hell's going on. Nicely done. Okay, so these guys do have cavalry. But they've only got two units of infantry. Those guys, don't even worry about those guys. Okay, they've got three units of infantry. Yeah, yeah, we can take that. We can take that with uh, this army. Do we have any veteran units? No. No, we don't. He's got some Velites. Well, in that case, we'll just take this unit and the general. And we'll move down to Valerius. Alright, so a trait increase for Valerius Furious Phyllis. Or Phyllis, I don't know. Capual has a blacksmith. Excellent. Uh, we could get them a shipwright, I suppose, for better trading. What else could they build? They could build shrines. You know, shrines are a good idea. No, not the sewers. Although they are also a good idea. They're not a good idea now, though. So, we'll get those. Uh, faction announcements. 
Okay, he's good at commanding. Resistance is futile because we are the Borg. And that is all good. Okie dokie. So I'm going to send our spy over this way a little bit. Oh, hello. And I've got a watchtower, which is doing funky things to the textures. Hmm. Hmm. He's still a worry. I mean, I'm confident we could take him on in a fight. But I'm cautious of taking him on, because, you know, he's right there. He's actually got damn good ground where he is. So I sort of want to avoid taking him on right now if I can. Oh, I guess I didn't really have to worry about the uh, the infantry situation. We could have left those Prinkapes up there. But... Mm, no, it sort of made sense to bring them. Actually, I know what we'll do with them. We'll split them off. I said we'll split them off. You... Well, apparently you do have more men. Yeah, you will march there. Quintus will go here. He'll back up the garrison here. And I think what we'll end up doing is we'll end up swapping out this Velite unit for one of these ones. Can we retrain them yet? No, I think you need uh, Auxilia Phase 3. Maybe. Uh, you can get Peltists from here. No, you might actually need proper Roman citizenship first. Well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Capua is still a bit of a money sink, but that's okay. You can't really do much about that. Paste them. Is it still winter? Yes, it is still winter. Okay, well, hopefully next turn it will not be winter. And we can uh, proceed with our campaign. But I get the feeling it's going to be winter again. Oh, no. There we go. It's summer. Okay, just double check. Yes, it is indeed summer, because we don't want to break our house rule. There's no point having a house rule if you don't follow it. So, advance. Oh, they got the gates open. Hmm. I guess it could be worth it. Ooh, ooh, yes, please. I guess it could be worth it, but mm, 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 nah. So we picked up, just then, a lovely little unit of hoplites, mercenary hoplites as well. They are very, very good. As you can see, excellent morale, good stamina, and they can sap. Sapping for the hoplites, eh, not so big. Not, not that really a big of a deal, but that defense, man, that defense. Dem stats. The attack, eh, leaves a little bit to be desired, but just think about it. The Hastadi have a defense of 27. These guys stand in a tight formation and will essentially block anything. 30 defense. I like it. So, let's see. You, I need to continue on. So you need to get to Croton. Uh, you have everything you need for now. Uh, everyone's fairly happy, everything's good. Construction? We got a armorer, awesome. A retium finished paved roads, double awesome. And in that case, market me. Uh, Capua. Yeah, you're doing your thing, that's all good. Uh, Roma. Roma, Roma, Roma. Um, hmm. I guess we could get that. But. Do we need it, is really the question. And the answer is. Not really. How is it that... Oh, okay, you have completed your final year. Because I thought they only had to study until they were 20. Hmm. It might have something to do with the mod. It might be just like, nope, you're not really doing four turns a year. What are you talking about? Okay, Corfinium, you have done your thing. Um, hmm, I guess we could try and make him more happy. But we don't really need to worry about that for now, so I will get walls for them. And a retium. They already queued up a market. Excellent. Okay. I sort of want to send these guys out as administrators. These fellas. These two. Uh, you. Hmm. You. 
are not terrible. He'll be good at governing one day. One day. I think I might send him to Aretium, because Aretium's making a ton of money. And then maybe the other guy can go to Aruminum, unless we uh, get another family member who needs to go in for study, in which case he can have it. So, I'm not doing too bad. Um, I guess we could assault. I don't want to, though. I hate siege assaults. 